हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स येट एन अदर वीडियो इन विच आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अप मल्टीप्लीकेशन दैट टू यू नो सम बेसिक शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स विच विल हेल्प यू इन हायर कैलकुलेशन एज वेल वी ऑल नो हाउ टू मल्टीप्लाई अ टू डिजिट नंबर बाई ए टू डिजिट नंबर एंड यू मस्ट हैव सीन लॉट्स ऑफ वीडियोज इन विच द वेदिक मैथ्स मेथड ऑफ क्रिस क्रॉस दैट इज वर्टिकली एंड क्रॉस वाइज मेथड इज बींग यूज also called the i x i method so this is just another replica or different form of either i x i or the vertically and crosswise method but you will find it more easier to handle and uh, the accuracy level also will go up if you follow this method so watch the complete video it's going to be an amazing experience also i'll tell you one of the very special videos uh, uh, in which i'll tell you the method through which you can multiply any big number by a special two digit number i'll tell you later so if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe now by clicking the subscribe button and by clicking the bell shaped icon you will be able to get all the notifications on your mobile so let's get going the first example i'm going to take up is 29 Times forty-six. Now we don't have to write these two numbers one below the other. So vertically and crosswise, uh, you know, most of the students will write them one below the other, and then they will do the vertically and the crosswise method. Now, without doing that, there is a pattern which you can follow and get to your answer directly. Now, the first digit with the first digit gives you two times four, which is eight. So I'll get I'll write eight here. Then the second digit with the second digit gets me a nine six zero fifty four, which I will write on the extreme right. And in the middle, that is important now. The means that means the middle numbers and the extremes that is the first and the last number. Now this is the sequence we need to remember. And if you practice this sequence, I think you can solve each and every two digit by two digit multiplication in a single line. Maybe in five seconds you will be able to do it. So here we have this as thirty six. So I write thirty six here and add what two six are twelve. And so I have the numbers eight, forty eight, and fifty four. Now these are the three numbers which we need to get to very quickly. I have written all the steps here so that you know you can follow. In my subsequent uh, examples, I will be eliminating these steps also. Now retain the unit digit four. Carry forward the tens digit five, so forty-eight plus five is fifty-three. So three and five gets added to eight gives us thirteen. So one three three four is the product of twenty-nine and forty-six. Likewise, suppose you have to do say seventy-three times fifty-eight. Now let's eliminate uh, some of the steps I have written here. So seven times five thirty-five, then three times eight twenty-four. And the middle ones. This is fifteen, and this is fifty-six. Fifty-six and fifteen. Now you should do that in your mind. That is seventy-one, and so four, two added to seventy-one gives seventy-three. So three and a seven added here gives forty-two, and therefore your answer is four two three four. Now see, it is taking less amount of time now, and we can even reduce the timing further. Let's take ninety four and sixty seven. So nine six are fifty four, and then four sevens are twenty eight, and finally this is twenty four and this is sixty three. Sixty three and twenty four eighty seven. Now that's where you need to be really careful. Here we have eight two added to eighty seven means eighty nine. Eight added to this means sixty two. So six two. Nine eight is the product of ninety four and sixty seven. So everything works very well if you are competent enough in basic addition and uh, you know single digit tables. That is the basic competency required. So practice thirty forty such questions and let me know in the comments whether this suits you or not. Okay, let's see another trick. Now here we have any number times a special two digit number thirty seven. Now, why do I call thirty-seven as a special number? I'll tell you just now. See, thirty-seven, if multiplied by three, gives you a triplet, that is triple one, and that's what 
is the property which I am going to use to multiply any number by 37. So let's take an example, an easy example first where I am doing 2538, the four digit number by 37. So if I want to convert this 37 to 111, I need to multiply this by 3, right? So if I multiply this by 3, I have to perform the division also by 3, so that the question doesn't change. But it helps me in one way. If I divide 2538 by 3, this is 3, 8s are 24, so 13 means 3, 4s are 12 and 8, 6, right? 846 and then this product becomes triple 1. And multiplication by 1s is not uh, a difficult job. Start from the unit digit, 6, then take the two digits from the right hand side, this is 6 plus 4, 10, and then take all three digits, this is uh, 18, and then first two digits, 12, and the first digit, 8. And start writing from the unit place, 6, then we have a 0, 1 carry, so 19 means 9, 1 carry, 13 means 3, and a 1 carry, 9. And now pick up the calculators and check your answer. 2538 times 37 is that 93906 and you are going to be surprised by the accuracy of the result. Likewise, even if you have decimal in the uh, first number and you want to multiply that by 37, you will surely get the correct answer. Let's take an example. 238.146 and I want to multiply that by 37. So you all know we have to convert this number as triple one. So that multiplier is going to be triple one after you divide this number by three. So three sevens are 21. So 28, three nines are 27. So 11, three threes are nine, 24 means eight and six means two. So 79.382 times triple one. Let's start writing from the right hand side here now. Single digit 2 and then 2 plus 8 is 10 and the triple gives you a 13 and then start from 8 and take a triple. This is 11 plus 9, 20 and then start from 3 and make a triple. This is 12 plus 9, uh, 12 plus 7, 19 and then we have the doublet 9 plus 7, 16 and finally the single number 7. Now start writing 2, 10 means 0 and a 1 carry, 14 means 4 and a 1 carry, 21 means 1 and a 2 carry, again 21 means 1 and a 2 carry, so this is 18, 8 and a 1 carry gives us 8. Now put the decimal at the correct spot, we have 3 decimal places here or here, so 1, 2, 3, so our answer is 8811.402. Now you can pick up the calculators and check whether this answer is correct or not and let me know in the comments whether uh, the trick which I gave you just now, you like that trick or not. Even if you use it once in an exam, you know, it is useful, it is worth it. So practice that two digit by two digit multiplication that is very, very important for subsequent videos, subsequent calculations and higher competency development and multiplication by 37, you can do it like this, right? So. Do subscribe the channel, do share the video with all your friends um, so that they can also enjoy this uh, mathematical, uh, you know, wonder and uh, all the best for your practice.